All right, I replaced this uh, throttle valve cable on that other car I was working on, the wagon the other day. And before I throw this thing out, I um, I just want to show you how one of these things works. It was not familiar with how a uh, throttle valve cable or TV cable on a uh, older model transmission that's not electronic controlled even works. You can also also call this, I guess, what like a kick down, kick down cable. Anyway, since the transmission was removed out of that car. They had it routed wrong for me to get the uh, cable out. I was gonna have to um, remove some bell housing bolts. There's a little bracket over there. So instead of that, I just cut the thing because you know it was a lot easier. And when you're moving old stuff, it's junk anyway, so it's easier just to cut it. Anyway, this whole um, see in here. This is the end that um, goes into the transmission. It's bolted in. Kind of like, I don't know, like this. If you're looking at it, you would see it. It has a little bolt to it. Plastic. And inside, if I can get this. Hold on, let me get this camera over here. Um, I'm going to try to pull this out. I use my, uh... Okay. I got it now. Oh, it was supposed to happen. Anyway, since I cut it, this little cable inside has a little, uh, I don't know if you can see that, has a little end with a hole. Anyway, this little end hooks up to a little drag link to tell you my uh, bent paper clip is uh, representing the uh, drag link. Anyway, the little paper clip, think of that as a drag link and the valve body of transmission. This little thing just locks in one of those holes so it gets locked in this way so it can't come out. And then this little black part over here is sandwiched between the drag link, drag link, and then that uh, this cable, so it can't come out. Because if you think about it, hold on, let me put this camera down. This uh, there we go. This thing's just locked in like this, basically, to the uh, valve body, and then this is just holding everything in. Because you know, side to side movement. It can't work its way out, so it stays in there tight. That's how that end works. It hooks up, hooks right up to your uh, well, the upper end. I'm talking about. That's the bottom end. Bottom end we just spoke about. The top end. This hooks to your throttle body with one of these quick little connect, connect. Uh, what the hell things? They go on a little ball on your uh, on your. Can't freaking speak today. Throttle body. So that's like that. It comes out on this end. This is a whole adjustment on the uh, TV cable. I kind of figured out how this worked pretty easily because I, I adjusted these before, but I never really like uh, saw the back of it because it's in the car and it's a tight spot. Now that I have it apart, it makes sense. Anyway, so this is your throttle cable. It, yeah, throttle cable, TV cable. So as you're going down the road, this is going like this, in and out from the, uh, the throttle movement so therefore the back's going back's going it's pulling this pulling this in and out this connect to your valve body so right there this movement is going to automatically uh, detect when you're going to shift and uh, how, what the shift feel is if you know wide open throttle it's going to be pulled open more part throttle shifts it's going to be pushed back more so with that it controls your line pressures your shift points all that good stuff, shift feel, and uh, how the transmission is going to react. Now it's all done electronic with uh, with sensors and everything. Actually, on a lot of cars, when these things are, uh, they stretch these cables. A lot of people even burn up transmissions because they because um, they just run around, and because this end's not working right, it's getting the bad. Um, well, it's getting the bad. Um, what the? I can't freaking speak today. It's stretched. So it's not going to be pulling the right amount for the uh, throttle, for how much throttle you push in the percentage. So therefore, you know, it's not going to shift right, it's not going to have enough line pressure, so you just burn up your clutches and everything. So, when one of these things is bad, you should replace it. I got a new AC Delta one, it was about uh, 15 bucks. So, what a deal that was. Anyway, it's a unique end, you have to adjust these things. And the adjustment actually is just the uh, relationship to the uh, overall cable. Because uh, if you think about it, this piece right here is fixed. 
you see this piece right here it moves in and out and how do you um, adjust this if you just it's a little thing that looks like a D and you push that I don't know if I can even get this in my camera I hope so hope this is picking it up anyway you push that you can push this and then so yeah, just push this D and you push down on that and it retracts this area right here and to adjust it once you do that you just romp down on the pedal then as the cable comes through on this end it automatically stretches it its uh, correct length and over here I don't know if you can even see it on this end on the back of the cable has little teeth on it and that's what just grabs it because all you're doing is you're changing the whole distance when you adjust this you're changing the whole distance of this cable that's inside here you know it's going to be out forward it's going to be uh, on it's like this it's uh, I guess it would be, yeah, it'd be longer, and then once you bring it back, it'll be shorter. So, that just changes its uh, distance by a little bit. Because when um, you install one of these things, you hardly have, like, any room at all, because you're trying to hook up that drag link, and this thing's, like, about in here, inside that tube, so it's a real pain. So what you have to do is you have to leave this thing disconnected from the throttle body. Just leave it disconnected. And don't even put it in the bracket either. Hook up this end first, then go on your top, plug this thing in, make sure it's tracking all the way down, then hook up your throttle, your, uh, your throttle cable. It isn't a throttle cable, but hook up your TV cable, your transmission valve cable, to your throttle. After that, and then you can get it in. Because I was fine with this thing underneath the car. <laughs> and then I figured out, oh yeah, you can do it that way. You know, it's kind of a cake. Because you have to, where's my paper clip? I lost it. This is underneath my car, I've got a flat tire. Anyway, this thing, when you're hooking it up, you have to, um, you have to pull this. Oh, whoops, sorry. You gotta pull, this is your imaginary drag link. You have to pull this out of the case, then quickly pop it on there, and then slide this whole assembly back down, bolt it up, with this thing connected, and make sure it doesn't fall off. So it's a little bit tricky. Be easier on a truck, on a car with the uh, with tight floor pans around the transmission. Transmission, can't speak. It's um a little bit tighter, but that's how it works. It's pretty simple. Every basically older model transmission has this TH four hundred, TH three hundred and fifty, even the earlier hydromatics. They might have had linkages though, with the cables. I'm not sure. That's going back to like the fifties, forties, whenever they first came out. Automatic transmission is GM. Or your four transmission of the same way. So, so it works pretty easy to replace. Just make sure it's adjusted right. And also, even before you try, um, <clears throat> you try, if you think it's bad, you just try to do that adjustment. You push, push that D in, track it, womp on the pedal, wide open throttle, you hear a click, 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 goes back to its right position. And, uh, that's how you adjust it. If, and if that doesn't fix it, or if it starts shifting funny again, it's on a couple of thousand miles and it's replaced the whole cable. So I did this to mine, it was kind of okay, but it still shifted way too high. It shifted at like probably like 5700 RPM. It was like floating the valve springs. Now it shifts like perfect, right around 5000 and wide open throttle, so I'm very happy. So that's a throttle valve cable, pretty easy. I just wanted to show you what it was like. And how it works a little bit before I throw it in the trash, and I'll steal some parts off it. <laughs> it's just a little uh, plastic piece; they pop off. And there's the same little connector that's on cruise control uh, pieces too. So that's how it works. There's your D. Some guys also um, quickly before I run out of time, they also uh, play with these things. They do it like a manual, bump it out a couple of notches, and then it will change your shift feel. It'd be like um, like an aftermarket program on electronic transmission. You know, people uh, they modify the line pressures and everything. So they'll just do like one click out or one click in until it feels the best for how they want their transmission to shift. But I'm not doing that. I don't really want to screw around. So that's your TV cable. If you want to remove it fast, use force, hack it apart, and uh, that's how you adjust it. Have a good one.